Summary for players with and without swag. While players are advocating a bachelor lifestyle, they drive their women insane, ravishing in vain glory through multiple relations. To prevent multiple relations from increasing, younger males need to hear less about masturbation and more about stewardship to value responsible leadership. It advances the male's sex drive and can lead to pressure to perform all while, the females are being taught to save themselves until maturity. With more people creating quotes like brothers before whores or pet your dog, not your mate, it doesn't encourage compassion, engagements, love, or marriage. Paying to play doesn't just affect guys who are procurers or sugar daddies, it affects the entire world. When people separate themselves from truths to do evil this is because mother nature can change human habitat at little or no notice, and mankind can change their wicked ways concerning God. So, don't blame God because the world is becoming more susceptible to unrighteousness. These are the reasons why most players are living to die rather than, dying to live. And why God admires the humble and meek spiritually untamed people, they acknowledge how and when to add length and value to anyone's life. Players don't have to pretend to be a vampire devouring human souls, they can make a difference in people's lives are already weak and worry. And obviously, the player mentality will never end according to the beginning of time whether life for them becomes more heavenly or not but it can decrease. Prayers, Repentance, and Thanks Most of us have one or more requests to pray for or expressions of thanks, such as abilities, blessings, forgiveness, healing, immorality, overcoming, peace, protection, strength, etc. Prayers are the first steps to showing God that you want mercy over your life. There are many things we can praise, pray, repent and give thanks for. But for God, we give and glorify all things, because things are possible with His guidance. And so, when you feel worthy of special needs, pray to God asking Him for that need. When you acknowledge remorse of the immorality, ask God's forgiveness and don't commit that same sin again. When you pray for others, it is okay to pray to God with or without that person. When you achieve a victory or have praise thank God. Below are prayers for players that can be used daily. After praying, rejoice unto God and glory for the things He has blessed you with. A prayer for salvation and deliverance, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I made unrighteous choices that have created webs of destruction for myself and others. I ask for deliverance and salvation rather than, remaining in the same old trial test story. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. And I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all man and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for understanding the biblical knowledge, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I am a player who hasn't taken in biblical knowledge. I want to understand the biblical knowledge and to let go of selfish pride, help me see opportunities from your signs and wonders without hesitation. I ask to face fears, financial uncertainties, experience life fullest, live throughout elderly ages, and stand for truths. I ask for help avoiding terrorist attacks. I want to embrace eternal connections your word facilitates, become spiritually mature in your words of wisdom, dare to impact for the higher righteousness, and remain devoted. I ask the judgment of death on my life be nullified. I ask for the universal natural unlimited resurrection, to become a victorious overcomer in the victory through Jesus. I ask to overcome addictions and failure. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. And I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all man and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for basing success upon God's standards, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I haven't compared success with your standards. I ask for the ability to base success upon your standards. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. And I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all man and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for players to embrace politeness, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I am a player who hasn't embraced politeness, and I exercise arrogance in place of it. I ask to learn politeness. I ask for guidance, I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. And I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all man and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for players to have gratitude, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience, I am a player that hasn't been grateful for things of this world. I ask for the ability to visualize gratefulness from your perspective. Also, I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. 
and I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all man and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for dignity, Father God, my character of becoming a righteous supernatural human has been distorted. I ask for dignity in my walk with you, let the dignity flow like water through and around me. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. And I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all man and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for multiple relations, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I have exercised excessive lust of the flesh defiling my body with multiple relations. I vow not to go committing the sin ever again. I ask for guidance acknowledging exercising greed of any kind does need overcome. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for sex addiction, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I wallow in my sex addiction with excessive behavior. I vow not to go committing the sin ever again. I ask to overcome the devil's flesh. I ask you to send someone into my life the relationship is to last an eternity. I ask for guidance acknowledging exercising greed of any kind needs overcome. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for infidelity in a marriage, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I have committed infidelity in my marriage. I vow not to go committing the sin ever again. I ask to get through the adulterous behavior and influence this has had on me and my spouse. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for an eternal relationship, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience and haven't acknowledged a closer walk with you. I ask you to connect me with someone the marriage or relationship is to last an eternity. One both can acknowledge who would make the best leader. One with a fruitful concept, where it helps fulfill our eternal destiny with grace and truth. One both can acknowledge each other feelings daily. One both can base success on your standards. One both can acknowledge, to love requires forgiveness and forgiving require love. One both can embrace politeness. One can exercise faith, where it is honorable with dignity. One both can celebrate the things that have been overcome by acknowledging, the living sacrifices made. One allows both to smile. One can become manageable and doesn't fall apart with fear of struggles. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for strengthening bonds of communication, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I have broken bonds of communication by exercising my disobedient character when I didn't want my immoral character to be checked. I ask to strengthen bonds of communication through communities on an individual basis. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. And I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all man and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for getting a selfish point across, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I have valued getting a selfish point across rather than, walking through my emotional walk with you. I want to acknowledge when to research topics of interest, to have facts line up with your word. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. And I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all man and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for honoring self or others as a high authority, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I have honored myself or others as a high authority rather than, acknowledging you as authority overall. I vow not to go committing the sin ever again. I ask for the ability to value biblical knowledge and you as the highest authority. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. And I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all man and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for preparations for an afterlife, 
Father God, I haven't been forgiving, I haven't acknowledged an afterlife requires preparations. I ask for the ability to find new unique ways of embracing ceremonies a symbolic nature for an afterlife. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for gang members committing illegal crimes, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I have committed crimes for a sinful sacrifice and exercised arrogance and greed. I vow not to go back to committing crimes ever again. I ask for guidance acknowledging exercising greed of any kind does need overcome. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for homosexual and transgender gays, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I abused myself with the same gender with increasing lusts of the flesh. I vow not to go committing the sin ever again. I ask for guidance acknowledging exercising greed of any kind does need overcome. I ask for guidance in whatever direction you will have me go from this day on. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for overcoming being a pimp, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I have extorted money and illegal things with envy and strife without considering the consequences of critical circumstances. I have lusted after fleshly desires intensely. I defiled victims' flesh, dignity, and rights to pursue financial freedom and education certainties. I vow not to go committing the sin ever again. I ask for guidance acknowledging exercising greed and lust of any kind does need overcome. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. A prayer for overcoming overeating, Father God, I haven't taken a stand in my obedience. I have obtained food excessively to nullify personal fears rather than facing them. I didn't consider overeating a sin when I could have spent the money wisely. I ask for the ability to overcome overeating disorder and choose foods wisely. I ask for guidance acknowledging exercising greed of any kind does need overcome. I ask forgiveness of my sins, throughout the journey of changing my evil ways. I want to be accountable for my actions, righteous good works, and self-awareness. Also, I ask peace of mind to judge others with righteous judgment and help me to acknowledge the good in all men and womankind. Thank you, Father. Poetry for players with and without swag. These were the players that journeyed throughout my life, even though in the beginning I didn't value them. Yet none is perfect still the journey was carefree. Now I realize what I didn't value, which is an eternal mate. Either of us could have walked the journey through Christ much better. But obviously, I only got to know one of them on a deeper level. Pardon me for any lust of the flesh, and dating as friends with benefits. The young and carefree out through my eyes I see the youth facing hardship, trying to maintain a free life while pretending to overcome obstacles. What a fabulous thing to be young and carefree, as I see them freely loving and unsubmissive wondering about. For the untamed beastly foes of the world, they are the young and carefree, empower them to impact precociously. Undevoted dad was gentle, kind, but he was a mama's boy. Undevoted dad couldn't keep a job, he and his friends were lazy, and he had kids by several gals. Undevoted dad was a drunkard, a user of illicit drugs, and was ghetto fabulous. He got me pregnant and never said, I love you. Undevoted dad said the kid's not mine, so he didn't support his child, got with another gal, and later moved out of town. Later in life, when I met up with undevoted dad, he wanted to claim his child, but by then it was too late. Baby daddy drama was a mama's boy, who was devoted to family and friends, but he couldn't keep a job. Although baby daddy drama had support from family and friends, he was passive aggressive. We didn't spend any quality time, and I never understood the things baby daddy drama did. He was an abuser, a user of illicit drugs, and a drunkard, an unfaithful type of brother. He made some promises, one of them he kept, his family did send our son to a private school. I did enjoy creating our child, and baby daddy drama was devoted to him. Baby daddy drama died way too soon, and I love him on high. Hardcore lover was a family traditions type of brother, a hard worker with longevity. Although hardcore lover was family oriented we rarely spent any time together. Dramatically, he wasn't someone you take home to mother. He had a thievish mentality, 
he was a drunkard and a user of illicit drugs. Hardcore lover had no respect for kids, so he was just a brother whom you tolerated until it was over. He was the kind of guy you can't love, though we came together to make a fetus, the baby died. Simply put, hardcore lover wasn't worth the time. Carmel Voluptuous Crab was a cancer, who had caramel color skin and a fabulous six-pack. At first, it seemed like he was your average high-maintenance brother, a thuggish type. This Carmel Voluptuous Crab was shy, a hard worker, who had a love for kids. It was taboo, a dream of where we met. It was as if God had announced, this is the guy you will spend an eternity with. He saved me from hardcore lover, to later find out he had saved me before from the same brother. It felt as if Carmel Voluptuous Crab had reached into my childhood, to bring out the eternal gal. Yeah, he was something else, but straight out of a ghetto book. We were like two babes looking for a new moon, he a crab and I a lion. Carmel Voluptuous Crab got locked up, he did his time. Now and again, we came together, then it became a reality when our love completely died. My heart continued to thirst for Carmel Voluptuous Crab, until the future came when our lives finally manifested to be joined as one. Baby Blue Eyes was yellow bone, carefree, and a charmer. It seemed like every girl in town wanted to be charmed by baby blue eyes. He was lovable, a shy player, yet still, he was a thuggish type of brother. At first, we chatted online, and then we met at the hotel where I worked. This yellow bone, blue eyes brother made me weak. I dreamt about him every day of the week. I said to him, you are the bum because I thought he made me complete. He said to me, but you are dating my cousin tender young love. I said to him, and you are making me weak with those baby blues. We met every blue moon, not every day of the week until I realized tender young love had stolen my heart. Tender young love was much younger, a hard worker, who had a fabulous six-pack. I had dreamt of a gentle guy, pure as the Fuji waters. Tender young love first showed up in my direct messages on a popular social networking site, and when we met it was like doves flying on that light summer day. He had saved me from tall dark and handsome. We met twice a month, not every day of the week, tender young love would visit me at the department store where I worked. He smelled like Dillard's department store and new money all rolled into one. When tender young love came by I always knew that I wouldn't have to dream anymore. He was a player and friend, and he dated several gals from the same community. Tall dark and handsome the sweet aroma of your body lets me know you're near. As I look forward to the future, and I lay in your arms as if you were my king and I was your queen of the night. I believe in you baby, I believe you are that true love. All the times we have spent together tall dark and handsome, I think of wanting you forever. I believe in being faithful and I believe in sharing our tender hearts. Tonight it seems tall dark and handsome as if God announced the sky would fall while we are drifting off to sleep. As you held me till daybreak, I wouldn't grieve if life should end. The sun would slide into our room as we lay softly in bed. And if the sky wouldn't have fallen, and the earth wouldn't have disappeared. Tall dark and handsome you and I would be alive to love again and again. Sugar Daddy Pops was much older, he had worked many professional jobs, and had laid with many gals. Sugar Daddy Pops was a very ambitious type of brother, he wasn't cold-hearted as most players. When we met it was a light summer breeze, we lived in the same community. Sugar Daddy Pops brought joy into my heart, and he found a renewed heart and soul through me. Sugar Daddy Pops was just a puppet on a string, a sugar daddy. He so called himself helping the women he dated, some had kids and others didn't. With so many triumphs his old soul will endure forever. Shout out, to all the Sugar Daddy Pops of the world. Bright skin yin yang represented dark and light, he was an authority figure, a successful type of brother, with massive cash flow, you know the average high maintenance type. Bright skin yin yang had a prince-like charm and knew what he wanted from a gal. We met online through a popular social networking site, he revealed eternal needs for my life. Any gal would have wanted to get charmed by bright skin yin yang. The type you can take home to mother, who is intelligent, and devoted to family and friends. Bright skin yin yang smelled like Macy's department store and had an electric magnifying smile. He had a fabulous six-pack and longevity came with it. Although Bright Skin Yin Yang was also a drunkard, a drug user, a hardcore type of brother, he was about his stewardship. To later find out, Bright Skin Yin Yang was married and just another thirsty brother.